Working families are at the heart of our communities and our economy. In fact, nearly three out of four children under the age of six have both parents in the workforce. This means that childcare is increasingly becoming a necessity for our families, employers, and our economy. In Maine today, more than half the families don't have access to a licensed childcare facility. How can we expect parents to go to work if they can't find childcare? And to add to that, how do we expect kids to learn if they're going to school hungry? My mom pays most of the bills. She works many hours late night. Lunches were something she struggled to put $15, $20 on each of our accounts because that's supposedly a normal pricing for whatever we got at the time and still today. For me, addressing school hunger hits close to home. Growing up, it was just me, my mom, and my brother. For years, we bounced from house to house. My mom bounced from job to job. Along the way, not only was it difficult adjusting to a new school every year, I often didn't know if I would have school lunch. The only way I was guaranteed a meal was free school lunch, but I hated feeling like I was the only one. As I've gotten older, I've noticed that my family wasn't the only one with this problem. I often see students at my school who don't get breakfast or lunch. Not only do I want, do not want others to feel the way I have, but I also think it is important to make sure all kids have access to a warm meal without cost. In Finland, they have had a free lunch program for students since 1948. Not only does it help ensure all students get food, it helps bring the community together through a warm meal, and they have incorporated student cooking programs to allow a hands-on approach to learning how to make a healthy, balanced meal. They've done it successfully for many years, so what is stopping us from doing the same? I think the school meals for free is going to be a great way to help. It help, um, helps many people, helps me and my brothers, help a lot of others too, and thank you.